Hello Aries, welcome to your August 2019 general psychic reading. Aries, it is Leo season. The sun is now entered its home sign and the sun feels really good in this place. And this is really positive energy, really helps pour positive energy into you, into your chart Aries, because of course Leo is your fellow fire sign. And so, you know, all together as a collective this month, you might see people being a lot more positive, a lot more playful, creative, and even romantic with Leo ruling the heart chakra and all this stuff. So Aries, this is going to be an exciting and light month. You know, the sun is at its height here in the summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's going to be a powerful time. I'm really excited, of course, always to see what is personally going to show up here in the tarot for your sign. Before we jump into the cards, of course, uh, just a couple quick announcements. I'm doing another free giveaway this month, so I'm giving away a free video tarot reading. So if you want to enter in to win that, then follow me on my Facebook. The details. Are uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the details <laughs> will be there, Aries, and what post to share. Um, so check it out. That link to my Facebook is in the descriptions box below. And oh yeah, also if you haven't yet, Aries, check out my psychic message in a bottle that I'm now offering in my Etsy shop. It's another unique form of reading that I'm doing and I'm super excited about it. You get your zodiac signs pendant and a crystal pendant with it as well. Super cool. Check it out. And please do like, subscribe, share this video. This is your basically your signs support group I'm here to just spread the love. So spread the love, spread the love Aries. So I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling here. I am using the Druid Craft Tarot deck again. And let's talk about the moons. As usual, I tend to like to go over the, the big moons uh, that are going on in the month. So here in August, we have on the 15th, the full moon happening in the sign of Aquarius. So wow, Aries, what you can expect. <laughs> from this Aquarius full moon. Some extreme rebellion within yourself, seeing more of it within society, people rebelling, wanting to break away from traditions, from structures, rules, regulations that are outdated, that no longer work in our modern society and with our evolved consciousness. So, a lot of that, what's coming up with this full moon in Aquarius is you could see some, you know, we might see some really abrupt and sudden action that really just kind of takes the world by surprise here, but it's really inciting change and change that is going to benefit you. It's going to benefit all of us when it comes to our personal freedom. Aquarian energy here, especially with this full moon, wants to really liberate you, liberate you where you feel a lot more personally free, you know, more power to the people is what this energy is. So big stuff, you know, more personal freedom, individuality wants to show up with this, wants to be given. So some things to, you know, look out for. Um, I see more Governments uh, being challenged, protests happening, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting. Now on the 30th of the month, we'll have the Virgo new moon. So very different energy, be a lot softer. And it's bringing up stuff that has to do with your health. This energy will make you feel a lot more health conscious. Also what new sort of diets, regimes, uh, might you need to incorporate in daily routines and especially things that have to relate to your health Aries so perhaps you know changing your sleeping schedule you know and adjusting that or just 
you know, going back to dieting, what you're eating, putting in your body, you know, are you cooking at home, are you eating a lot, uh, eating out a lot, you know, not getting enough vegetables, whatever, you know, it's kind of bringing things a bit more simple, uh, bringing them down to earth, this Virgo energy. And you really might feel in the mood to just like clean more and even nitpick more. And you know, with this energy as a collective as well, Aries, it, it especially after the, the Aquarius new or Aquarius full moon, the Virgo energy wants to kind of take over and go over the details, kind of troubleshoot and be like, okay, maybe this is really what needs to happen. Or maybe we should really approach things from this angle and Maybe we missed this detail whenever we were getting all, you know, riled up at that full moon. Uh, you know, that's what this Virgo energy will be coming in to, uh, coming in and bringing up for us as well. So, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say that was popping up with that Virgo new moon. Yeah. So, I do feel like the cards are definitely done here now. So Aries, I'm going to take you down here and we're going to go over your cards down below this month. All right, Aries, welcome down below here. Feel free to take a couple of deep breaths here before we jump right into pulling the cards. This month I am kind of reading a little differently where I'm gonna read one card at a time so, and I'm also going to get you a romance angel, uh, specific, specifically uh, speaking and relating to your love life, your relationship life. So Aries, let me consult my notes here. <laughs> this energy is going to be affecting your fifth house. So right off the bat, you know, just knowing that, um, I mean, especially for those of you who are rising Aries out there, this is affecting, this is that Leo house. It's affecting your creativity. Anything that has to do with children or embracing more of that nostalgic sort of childlike carefree behavior um, romance pops up with this and fun entertainment so let's go ahead and pull the first card here nine of wands all right right off the bat coming up for a lot of you Aries there's like this burning sort of desire or need. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing like this fight or flight kind of energy and need that you might be feeling at the beginning of the month. It's like sticking to your guns, holding your ground with something. Even being a little defensive going into Leo season here. I'm hearing the words here, Aries, like staying true to your purpose, your energy. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull the next card here. Ah, we have in the traditional deck, this is temperance. All right. so. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You're another fellow fire sign this month, Aries. So right off the bat, might be dealing with another Sagittarius and might be a relationship going on there where there's a little bit of caution, a little bit of wariness. What I'm also getting here with this, Aries, is that it's almost like a lot of you are having to stand your ground, protect, protect your space from anybody who might be trying to disrupt 
your creative process. Disrupt what it is you're trying to build, what you're trying to manifest this month. Where you're bringing in more balance. And I'm, I'm hearing right off the bat here too, Aries, that any, any of you who are watching this who might be um, fearing the mixture <laughs> of things, um, mixing things up, mixing uh, the process up, changing things up a little bit, those who might be a little standoffish about that, you're being encouraged to lay down that kind of defense that kind of fear. Okay, because the temperance angel, the fire angel here in, in this card, the fire priestess almost, um, is really wanting to alter things in the most positive way for you. But you have to be open to it. So Ace of Swords popping up next. Ooh, hoo, hoo, I love it. Okay, so yeah. Um, you know, we have the nine starting out here. Ace of Swords, new beginnings, you know, old beginning or <laughs> old um, processes and endings here, new beginnings down here. So especially once we get closer to the Aquarius full moon, I think you're going to see right here some... You're going to see things simply, is what I'm hearing. See things in a new, powerful light. You're going to see some new truths that you didn't see before. Because you allowed yourself to be open to the magic and manifestation. Or you, you did your work, you know, this month. Um, and maybe specifically, you know, down here working with the Sagittarius, like I said. And... There's like a sense of victory with this card. Sense of victory, sense of new truth, and new enlightenment. And I'm also getting here, whatever you might be facing towards the beginning of the month, whatever that opposition, whether it's within yourself or if you're feeling any kind of opposition or feeling that need to defend and protect you know, later on in the month here with the Ace of Swords, you're going to get more of that sort of um, sense of achievement, sense of conquering whatever this was at the beginning. So that's beautiful. Next up, ooh, the Two of Cups. Ooh, sitting right under the Sagittarius. Um, Fire Angel card, so wow, yeah. Some of you Aries might be definitely getting into a relationship with a Sagittarius or meeting um, a Sagittarius or another fire sign, so another Aries or another Leo that might simply just be very good for you. You know, they, they, they help temper things with with you and vice versa. You balance each other out very well. And there's definitely a connection of love and support here. It's beautiful. Oh, there's, there's a lot of like romance and love kind of showing up for the, you fire signs. You might check out the Sagittarius reading as well because they got the two of cups. So, oh, this is exciting. Those of you, you know, who are working on calling in someone, whether you're putting yourself out there more, going to more like bars or going out to more parties, social events or online dating, it looks really good, especially towards the end of the month where, you know, connections are really formed. There's, there's a real bond happening here. And it's like, you have to get through this process first though, Aries. You know, you, ha you have to get through this process that we talked about first. Let's pull the last card here. Okay. Woo. Yeah. 10 of swords. Okay. So definitely, especially moving into Virgo season at the end of the month. Um, 
you might be feeling a little tired. You know, the, the, there's some powerful manifestation going on right here and work being done there. So you just might feel a little burnt out towards the end of the month and, and it's just time to rest. Just time to rest I'm getting here. That Ten of Swords is uh, looking, looking heavy or looking tired <laughs> from, you know, whatever battle and opposition that you, we talked about up here that you might be facing with someone or within yourself. And then you got this and then, you know, you're meeting, a lot of you are meeting someone new or just simply deepening and evolving a relationship here. Ten of Swords, I'm seeing here, is really asking you to um, release anything that might be getting in the way, especially anything that might be getting in the way of fully connecting with a relationship with someone. And this relationship just might be completely helping you change your perspective in, in some ways. I mean, this uh, Ten of Swords is actually speaking to me right now as almost like a complete turnaround in perspective. Kind of surrendering in a sense. I want to go ahead and get clarity on this card real quick before we pull your Romance Angel. I feel like it's the second one. Princess of Swords. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, it's, it's stepping into a new frame of mind at the end of the month. Now, releasing some other ideas you had, especially when it came to romance, when it came to relationships, your expectations there. You know, that's someone or that situation, things that you are going through in August here are changing your mind, completely changing your mind, fresh new perspective, which I really like. Wah, wah. Okay, <laughs> throwing cards. Yeah, I really like this. It, it's showing like there's, there's an opening. You're opening yourself up to just more here. Yeah, it's beautiful. You might find more like ideas, creative ideas coming to you. I mean, you know, this is affecting your fifth house once again, Aries. So, you know, between here and Princess of Swords here, those cards are really speaking of a lot of new creative ideas and even the Ace of Swords, you know, this is like a lot of creative ideas. Pay attention to what's going on with your imagination and what is coming through where you feel inspired to create or to connect, you know, seize those moments and, and create some action there. And who cares if it's something new and unfamiliar? Yeah, the Princess of Swords and Ace of Swords are all about like, well, Maybe new, it may be unfamiliar, but we're taking action anyways. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get you your romance angel. Okay, I feel like it is this one. Oh my God, no way. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Aries, the Sagittarius reading got this card as well. Sagittarius has got this card. They got the Two of Cups. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, so definitely for any of you who are dealing with a Sagittarius or another fire sign, man, they are coming across strong. There is a connection, a powerful connection and soulmate connection showing up here with them. You know, it looks, uh, it just looks so harmonious and complimentary. 
And yeah, for those of you who are open and working on love, you know, trying actively to form new connections with people, you know, that is going to evolve and manifest, appear beautifully in the month of August in Leo season here. So that soulmate action is definitely powerful. Wow. It's like, ask for it, Aries, and you will be surprised that, well, you will get it. <laughs> That's what's showing up. Mm, this is beautiful. I love it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see you back up here. <laughs> I love what's showing up here. Something else here that came through as I was switching over here, putting the camera back up, Aries, is... Something is definitely being offered to you and someone is offering themselves to you, is offering their attentions to you. You know, the Ace of Swords is right by the Two of Cups here in this reading and, you know, it, it just, look, you know, it's beautiful. It's so obvious. And the other little thing that came up here was the fact that an offer, you know, whether it be because of this connection, this relationship that's being formed here, Aries, or some other sort of offer coming through spiritual or uh, within your community, wherever, there's this new sort of offer that's coming in and asking you to release some something, to sort of give in or give up on a certain way of doing or thinking in order to make this work. So I just wanted to point that out because that was something that was really strong that popped up, like I said, as I was switching over. So boom, but there you have it, Aries. I'm loving this energy in this reading for you. You know, the creative energy, especially with the temperance angel being here, is lit, looking great for you as well. Mm. Amazing time. It's going to be a great time for you, Aries. So if you want to do a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, of course, you can access um, my email, you know, ask me questions or, you know, just look in my Etsy shop and book something with me. Links are below. And of course, don't forget to enter in that for the free giveaway. So follow me on Facebook, you know, I'll tell you what post to share so that you can enter in to win the free video reading, all that lovely stuff. So yes, please do like, share, subscribe. Aries, thank you for your support. And let me know in the comments how this is showing up for you, how this is manifesting in your personal life. Cause I love to hear, love to hear how these stories, you know, just coincide and just evolve and grow. It's just, it's magical. So from one fire sign to another, I bid you adieu and I will see you in the next video, Aries.